friends welcome to my workplace for hands on feco and sics training this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus this is a triplanar incision 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the anterior chamber and now a side port is made about 3 clock hours away on the left side and now is the time to do capsulorexis i am going to do it with a ureta forceps the ureta goes in lifts off the anterior all of the main wound a capsular tag is raised in this way it is rotated anti clockwise all around and an adequate size rexis of about 5.5 mm is achieved this is a real time unedited surgery hydrodissection is done with bscs and 27 gauze cannula as we see the fluid goes to the other side the nucleus is stabbed the fluid wave comes anteriorly along the equator it means hydrodissection is done the anterior chamber is again filled up with 2% hpmc and now is the time to introduce the feco handpiece the feco needle in the anterior chamber this is oatly cataract 3 feco machine and this is removal of some superficial cortical lens matter and now see direct job the feco tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus and it is the nucleus is chopped with this very small chopper it is mohantas micro chopper micro means small and it's a very small chopper it is about 0.6 mm in length at the tip ultrasonic energy used in this case is 60% flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 mm of mercury during emulsification of the last piece parameters are reduced not this time it is emulsified half of this is emulsified and then we go to the epinucleus mode where vacuum is 300 flow rate is 30 and i see the epinucleus is kept underneath to protect the posterior capsule and it very gently the epinucleus is removed we can see some nuclear bits near the side port this on side port this on nuclear piece at the side port it is quite big so what i do at this time is i inject visco and enlarge the main wound little bit so that this nuclear piece can come out anyway i am going to use a b cartridge for that the wound has to be increased little bit by point on or point 2 mm and now this nuclear piece is scotted out
Now is the time to remove the cortex. A 22 gauze Simco is being used for removal of the cortex. The subincisional cortex is removed going through the side port. So most of the cortex, all of the cortex is removed, only some lens cells are sticking to the posterior capsule. Using only the irrigating cannula of bimanual IA, bimanual irrigation aspiration, we can polish the posterior capsule very nicely. One irrigating jet of fluid is directed towards the posterior capsule and the cannula is swept and the posterior capsule gets, gets polished nicely. Hydroimplantation of the intraocular lens has been done. You can see on haptic, yes it has got released, on haptic was stuck to the optic. And now, the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. Finally, the anterior chamber lavas is done with bases. I go behind the intraocular lens and irrigate the capsular bag. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. Integrity of all the wounds are checked with cotton dipped Johnson bath and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.